Bill Gates' $650 million yacht has its own waterfall, but he also owns a $130 million book, a $65 million futuristic mansion, and way more. But first up, let's start with this island. Bill wanted to one-up his good old buddy Jeffrey and decided to get one of the biggest islands in the Caribbean. But on this island, there aren't any creepy mansions. Yet. Just a small hut and some of the best scuba diving in the world. This island cost Gates 25 mil, but that's chump change to someone worth 150 billion. So you want to know what he spent 100 times that amount on? A machine that can turn poop into water. Yeah. Gates was touring Africa and saw how many people were drinking unsafe water, and I guess he couldn't just build wells like Mr. Beast. So he decided the best solution was to make them drink their own sh**. Bill promises it's safe though, he even had a sip of it himself. And it cost Bill 200 million to invent this, but don't worry, for an African village it's much cheaper. It only cost 2 million. I think Bill forgot they probably can't afford that. But after his trip to Africa, he flew away in one of his five private jets back home to his mega mansion and decided to go for a joyride in one of his supercars. But he had a problem. He couldn't decide which car to drive. He was thinking of driving one of his cheap cars, like the Jaguar, Tesla, or Mercedes. But today was a special day. So instead, he decided to drive a car so rare, it's banned in the United States. In 1986, Gates bought a Porsche 959 in Europe since they weren't sold in the States. He tried to import it to get around the US laws, but they weren't having any of that. So his car was impounded for 13 years, until Gates was finally able to bring it home. And after all that hassle, the final price tag came out to 200k. But since he can only drive that on his private island, he also owns a $100,000 Porsche 911. But obviously he doesn't just own Porsches. He owns a classic Ferrari 348, which was the last Ferrari made by the original automaker, Enzo Ferrari. This only set him back 100 bands though, and Gates knew he needed to step it up. So we copped a Rolls-Royce Ghost for $388,000, since it's known as the ultimate comfort vehicle. Everything about this car is made for the owner to sit in the back, because we all know billionaires rarely drive themselves. But still, that makes his total car collection a cheap 1.2 mil. Bill spent way more on a man that was lost at sea, and he wasn't even saving anyone's life. Dude spent 36 million on a painting of a dude lost at sea. I don't know why he'd spent that much, but it easily broke the record for the most expensive piece of art sold in the US. Not to mention the other art in his collection, because altogether, it adds up to 124 million. Why would he care though, when he has more private jets than you have shoes? His cheapest one is the Cessna 208 seaplane. He uses it to fly to his island or other remote parts of the world where there are no runways. That only cost him 2.8 mil though, but the very first private jet he owned is way nicer. And surprisingly, he bought his first one 10 years after becoming a billionaire. I guess he got tired of listening to crying babies every flight and purchased a Bombardier Challenger for 27 million. But he must have been really annoyed in that last economy flight because he didn't just buy one, he bought two of the exact same plane. These challenges feature nothing crazy, just reclining seats, a swing out table, couches, super basic. But when Gates started becoming an old man, he started needing more naps. So he bought a $78 million Gulfstream G650 ER since this jet comes with a bedroom. And again, he couldn't just buy one, Vince bought two of these also, making his total private jet fleet worth $210 million. Jets are at least useful though, and Bill's gotta blow some money, so he bought a book that's worth more than a private jet. This is the famous Codex Lester, written by Leonardo da Vinci. It provides a rare glimpse into the mind of a genius, and it shows da Vinci was kind of a weird dude. Throughout the entire book, he wrote backwards so you could only read it in a mirror, and Gates is also a weird old dude. So he bought the book for $30 million, making it the most expensive book ever sold. But it actually turned out to be a good investment, because now it's worth over 130 million. Dude just prints money out of thin air. But Bill has way more cash tied up in all the mansions he's bought. And he must love California, because he owns three different properties there. His cheapest home is only 12.5 million, probably because it's in the middle of nowhere. It's a part of the community called the Vintage Club. And to even be allowed to buy any type of house there, you gotta pay 250,000. But I guess he was tired of being surrounded by people, because he dipped and bought a $43 million oceanfront mansion in San Diego. 
Apparently he turned this place into a giant bachelor pad to throw a bunch of hooker parties. And it just finished being constructed this August in 2023. But while construction was going on, he stayed at his $18 million mansion that was a short 30 minute drive away. He probably bought this mansion for his daughter though, since she rides horses and this property happens to have a horse track. And that wouldn't be the first time Gates bought a mansion just because of his daughter. He actually bought an entire street full of mansions just so she could practice horse jumping. Except these mansions are located in Wellington, Florida and only cost him about $27 million. But his craziest mansion is called Xanadu 2.0, located in Washington. And it's the most futuristic house I've ever seen. Like if you're ever invited in, you get a pin to wear around that automatically changes the lighting, temperature, and music of any room to your preferences. And most of these walls are giant screens that show different pictures and artworks throughout the day. It also has a heated indoor pool and an entire room filled with trampolines because we all know Bill loves to jump around. That's just the inside though. On the outside, you'll see Bill's favorite tree, which he guards with 24-7 security for some reason. He also has an artificial stream that's filled with fish, and the sand on his beach is imported from the Caribbean. This has got to be one of the craziest houses in the world, but it's still worth the same amount of money as his book, $130 million. And just wait till you hear about how much money he's spending on his kids. Because you'd think someone worth $150 billion would at least leave one to two bill for his kids, right? Nah. Bill said f them kids, and is only going to leave them with 10 mil each. That's probably just cap though, because they'll be leaving his million dollar properties to them as well. He plans on donating the rest of his money to charity, but not before buying a $650 million yacht. Since this thing is so big, Gates has to take his $4.2 million helicopter to get to it. On the outside, it's got an infinity pool with a goddamn waterfall at the back, and four different decks with lounge areas. But on the inside, you'll see the top lounge is completely surrounded by glass. So Bill gets a 360 degree view wherever he's at. And as you go down the giant spiral staircase, you can see the entrance to a spa, hair salon, and world-class gym. This yacht has seven bedrooms with a giant master that has more space than my apartment. Not to mention this absolute beast is fully powered by hydrogen, so it's completely environmentally friendly. It's actually only a rumor that Gates owns this, but I'm sure he'd never admit it anyway if he did. But he will admit that he owns the most farmland in the entire US, and it's his most expensive purchase ever, which is weird since he literally said he wants all the rich nations to switch to synthetic beef. I don't know about you, but you can keep your lab meat. Don't worry though, because even though he owns 270,000 acres of farmland, that's still less than 1% of the total available farmland, so we should be fine. All that land cost him about $1 billion. But there's actually one more thing that cost him billions on billions. Because in 2011, Gates met with Epstein multiple times and was caught in his flight logs going to the infamous Epstein Island. And once that was exposed, Gates was accused of pulling a Catholic priest and touching little kids. According to his wife Melinda, she told him from the start that it was a bad idea. I don't know why he needed someone to tell him that, but whatever. This all got exposed in 2019, along with him having an affair with some hoe at Microsoft. So Melinda divorced him, taking $76 billion of Bill Gates' money with her.